Hello, good morning. This is Siva Devaki from uh, Mass Mailer. Thank you so much uh, for joining the webinar today. Today, I'm going to talk about um, a very important topic uh, how to trigger an email to the child records from a parent object using Mass Mailer and uh, the Salesforce uh, Flow Builder. Uh, if you have used Mass Mailer or looked at uh, some of our content, uh, videos and stuff, you must have noticed that uh, we do have an ability to uh, send any, any kind of an automation emails using Flow or Process Builder uh, that kind of integrates with uh, Salesforce. Uh, and it's a similar thing, um, you know, you would still use the Flow Builder, but there is a little bit of a difference when it comes to how you actually invoke uh, the Apex action provided by Mass Mailer. That's called Mass Mailer email via Mass Mailer. And um, you can send out emails to the child records from a, a, from a parent object. Um, you know, that's, that's possible to draw it. Okay. So let's take a look at uh, what uh, kind of parameters that you have to pass, uh, especially uh, when you're invoking this uh, email via Mass Mailer Apex action. Uh, so first and foremost, the from name, from address is mandatory. And you also need to select uh, what is the child email field, meaning uh, which field you're actually sending emails to, and the child relationship name, uh, that's another one. And then uh, template ID or the template API name. Uh, these two are also, uh, one of them is mandatory. And the record ID field, uh, that's for the context. So that from which field you're actually uh, trying to send this email from, uh, the record ID field is also mandatory. Okay. So it looks like this. Uh, again, I'm actually going to go quickly show it to you, um, the actual example itself. So let's just go to Salesforce. I have a flow here opportunity to opportunity contact role. And I'm just gonna go open this. And this particular opportunity has its own criteria when it is getting triggered. So it's running on the opportunity. Whenever the opportunity gets updated and the stage name equals to close one, uh, that's when um, the opportunity actually uh, gets, uh, I mean, this particular flow gets triggered. And then this is the actual email action. And you can see uh, we, we populate in the child email field. So if you are familiar with the opportunity and the related objects, the so opportunity contact role is the junction object between the opportunity um, and the contact. Uh, so it will have lookups um, for like opportunity contact role has a lookup to opportunity as well as a contact. Um, so basically you're saying that I want to send email to contact uh, email field, but it is coming from the child relationship uh, record that is uh, opportunity contact roles. So these two are mandatory. That's how we identify who you want to send emails. Uh, to and the from name and the from address and uh, record ID, which is nothing but the opportunity uh, record ID, is the context for us. And the template API name uh, that's also mandatory, or the template ID, one of these two. So those are the fields that are mandatory whenever you're trying to send an email to the child record. Uh, so let's take a look at um, a sample. Uh, before that, I just want to show you so the opportunity contact role, uh, the API name for that particular object is called opportunity contact role. And if you go to the fields, uh, you will see uh, you have the lookup to the opportunity and the contact. Uh, so this is a junction object. So basically if you're sending it from opportunity, uh, you're basically gonna uh, look up to the opportunity contact role and then from there, you're looking up to the email field from the contact. That's how you're actually sending out an email. And now, if you basically want to go to an opportunity, I'm gonna go open one of the opportunities here. 
Uh, and then I'm just going to go change the status to something else. So I'm marking it as the uh, proposal price. Um, and then I will update this back to closed one because that's when we're actually going to send an email. And if you look at it, we have one contact role and then there is uh, an email field on that contact that's populated. Uh, so I would just go change the status to close one and save. So that should basically trigger an email uh, to this particular uh, contact. If I go there. So it should uh, send an email and uh, the email activity gets uh, recorded onto this particular email status. And the activity, as you can see, the activity got just logged. And then you can see that uh, it has populated uh, the opportunity name and the actual name of the first name of this particular contact as well. And we also have the email status values that got uh, recorded. So at 9 8. Uh, that's a specific time though. Uh, so you can see that it just uh, triggered those emails. And every, um, so this particular email, if you go there, and it's related to this particular outreach, that's the outreach that got uh, created behind the scenes. And um, and obviously it has all of the tracking information and everything uh, that you can check and one got delivered, which is nothing but the uh, contact that we were just looking at. And it actually shows you uh, what the particular opportunity is. And that's also related to the contact, the particular um, email status. So that's it. That's how um, you can trigger an email to the related uh, objects. Uh, even if you have custom objects, that's not a problem. So if you have something like application, which is a top level object, maybe application member, which is a junction object that's looking up to application and contact, uh, you can still send an email. Uh, so this could be a uh, use case scenario for um, universities, or maybe you have uh, con uh, the case object and case contact role is a junction object. Maybe uh, the uh, look up on that particular object is uh, case as well as contact. And if you want to send an email to the contacts from the case to the contact role, you can do that. You know, any any kind of use case scenario where you have um, this kind of a relationship, and you want to trigger an email, uh, it's possible to do it. Okay. So uh, once again, um, you know, uh, thank you so much for joining the webinar. Any questions you have, I'm happy to kind of uh, clarify that. Uh, seems like uh, no questions. Uh, so this is a weekly webinar. We do it every Thursday at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, next week onwards, I'm actually going to focus on uh, the mass mailer, uh, the new release uh, features, uh, so which is uh, open to the public now. And also we'll open up uh, that new release for the existing customers, maybe after a few weeks. Uh, once we are done with all the documentation and the webinars and everything, uh, we'll open it up even for the existing clients as well. So see if, if you're new to Mass Miller, feel free to go ahead and uh, start a free trial. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me or uh, to our company email address. Here is the contact information. And all these uh, webinar videos are posted onto our YouTube channel. And if you're again new to our YouTube channel, feel free to go ahead and subscribe. Uh, you can just uh, type in mass mailer and you'll find our YouTube channel and then just subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, and all this, um, the videos would be presentation, the videos would be posted uh, via email as well, uh, if you are part of our email database. And also we're gonna post it in our social channels. Once again, thank you so much for joining the webinar today and looking forward to talking to you again next week. Take care, thank you, bye-bye.